Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube page and welcome to another edition of Mix Musts. And for today po, medyo nakikita nyo, baka merong mga konting pagkakaiba dyan dahil isa to sa mga first collabs natin. First collabs after more than 10 episodes. And I just want to thank you all for tuning in. Kung na-discover nyo po ito through someone else or na-discover nyo through YouTube, salamat. I'm getting all of your messages and it really brings me joy. Napakalaking bagay po sa akin to give out your messages of support and inspiration. Maraming maraming salamat po. And for today, isa po sa mga unang collabs natin ito uh, with friends and with friends who are creators also, podcasters also, who are out there to give inspiration. I will introduce to you my guest for today and papag-usapan din natin kung ano yung must natin, yung must natin for today. I will introduce first my guest. She is a host, podcaster, and content creator, Kara Erigel Rabat. Hi, Kara. Hi, Migs! Kinikilig pa rin ako pag naririnig ko yung Rabat after my last name. Hi! Thanks for having Hi. me, Migs! Yes, and of course, Kara is uh, the creator of After 30 Podcast. Siyempre, from Podcast Network Asia, shout out to you guys, PNA, mga ka-PNA, mga ka-podcast, and please do listen to After 30 Podcast. Search lang po sa Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. Magandang content po yan from Kara. So I just want to ask first for, for the ones who are getting to know you, Kara, here on YouTube, can you tell us more about yourself and your content? Oh, okay. So let's talk about my podcast. It's called After 30 with Kara Regal Podcast, which I started in 2019. Um, When I turned, no, a year after I turned 30 and I was struggling with life in general and adulting and I had just quit my job a few months, before I started the podcast, I was doing radio for three years. I was I was with Monster RX 93.1. And I don't know, just before turning 30 was when I realized I needed something more and I wanted to do something different. And I just wanted to push myself. And it was very, very scary at 30 to still be figuring life out. Because people usually assume na dapat pag nasa 30s ka na, may pamilya ka na, alam mo na ko nang gagawin mo, and you're basically all settled. And I wasn't. At the time, and that's the reason why I started the podcast. And I I want to share uh, my experiences as well as I go through adulting myself and uh, myself, and still am at 33, figuring life out um, with you know a few uh, with taking deep breaths a day at a time and being mindful and being grateful and practicing gratitude in general. And that's what the podcast is all about. The bagita ni Kara yung ating tema for today adulting and for today ang ating theme is must adult quote unquote adult although adult is a noun but for some reason pag sinabi mong adulting naging verb na siya eh di ba mm-hmm. pag sinabi mong adulting siguro first thing comes to mind is kapag magkatrabaho ka aasikasuin mo na yung mga kailangan mo sa buhay mga tax mga SSS yung mga ganito mo yung mga bank accounts mo ay adulting na ako pero uh, yung isa sa mga actually kara nakikita ko na yung podcast mo before pa and sabi ko after 30 sabi ko after 30 din ako so ako uh, dito <laughs> alam ko, ko ka-age ko na rin si kara so sabi ko hindi ko pa napapakinggan before pa to hindi ko pa to napapakinggan or I have no idea about it just the title itself uh, alam ko makaka-relate ako and for Kara, just to give you some context for the past few episodes, uh, itong mix must kasi ano to eh, ang context talaga nito is just what I learned about in life. Not to be preachy, not to be, you know, an expert about it, but mm-hmm. it requires going back to basics, etc. Yun yung mga natutunan ko. And I think itong, itong tema natin na must adult is ano talaga, you learn things along the way. It's not something that it can be just thrown at you. You have mm-hmm. to experience it for yourself. But siguro, when we talk about this theme, must adult, what's, what are the first things that comes to mind para sa Gosh, honestly, right now, pumasok sa isip ko, is it's not even something you learn in school. <laughs> not at home, right. not, at, not, not in school. You learn adulting as you go through it, which is funny, right? Kasi ang daming tinuturo sa'yo ng mga magulang mo, mga teacher mo, mga taong mas matanda sa'yo. Pero hanggat hindi mo siya na-experience, hindi mo siya matututunan at hindi mo siya may apply talaga uh, sa buhay. So adulting for me is, number one, top of mind, is something that you have to go through yourself and you have to be willing to do also. Ano ba ang pinaka, parang 30s ko na talaga pinaka naka-experience talaga ang adult. Late na ba yun? <laughs> Kasi parang feeling ko mga 20s. So 20s ngayon nag-a-adulting eh. Pero 
Yun nga kasi, I mean, the, ano ba yung mga basics ng adulting? Yung mga sinabi mo, yung meron na akong PhilHealth, SSS, and all these things. Yeah. Nagtatrabaho na ako. I'm making money for myself. I'm paying the bills. Okay. All those things I did when I was in my 20s, early 20s. I started paying for my tuition fee when I was in second year college. Okay, that to me was adulting then. It felt like adulting. Pero yung actual definition ng adult to adult for me was when I turned 30 and when I started taking control and taking steps to becoming a better person. Wow, that's also meta. But how to become um, just a better human being and, and loving myself better, I think, is how to adult for me. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. It does. Really does. Uh, pero ang tanong ko rin, ang follow-up question ko dyan, kailangan ba maging 30 ka para ma-realize mo na, uy, nag adult na pala ako? Or parang when was it along the way? When was it? Uh, parang when was it through your journey? Na wow, this is for real. Uh, this is for real. I'm I, I'm adulting. I'm standing up on my own now. I think it started when I. Ito ni mo ni unang mararamdaman talaga ng mga tao. Na feeling ko eh, pinaka basic talaga adult ka na is when you start making your own money and paying for your own stuff, paying for your bills, basically taking care of yourself and not. Um, na hindi ka na nakasandal sa ibang tao, I feel like yun yung pinaka-real na, oh my gosh, I am adulting na mapafeel mo talaga. I think it started for me when I was in my um, early 20s when I started paying for the bills sa bahay. Balik ta hindi ako yung nag-move out initially. It was my mom who moved out of, of our old house. So I started paying for the bills at 23, 24. Ganyan. And that's when I started feeling like I was an adult. Yung wala na akong masasandalan, wala na akong matatakuhan. Ah! Pinaka naramdaman ko na nag-adult ako is nung, oh my God, sa kukunin yung pambayad ko. <laughs> no ko siya naramdaman. At ang, ang uh, kas, uh, to, kaakibat nun eh, paano ko mababayaran to ngayon? I think when you figure out how to deal with a certain um, life problem is when you've actually applied adulting in your life. That's true. You know what? Uh, no, if I may also, siguro ako rin kapag sinabing yan yung when you started taking control of your life. Siyempre, you know, uh, is, isa sa mga prayers ko talaga ngayon, Kara, um, especially during this time, is just being thankful for the basic needs. Diba? We have our shelter, we have our food, we have our home, our family, Very comf- uh, we have our sense of comfort. Pero siguro talaga, ano eh, parang ang dami mga factor din na nung siguro nung mga bata-bata tayo. Na we've also had help. Parang we've had that transition also. In some sense, iba-iba naman tayo ng, ng mga sitwasyon in life. Eh. Yun din, medyo ganun din when I started paying for my own. Diba? When you wanna go out and... Sabi, sabi at is, uh, the, 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 yung mga simple things in life. Kakain ka, hindi ka magbabayad, etc. Then eventually, you started paying for your own, own. Uh, ano may mga binabayaran mo on your own? Bills. Gas. Tama ka. Bills. Gas. Gas. Bills. Pero ano lang yun eh? As I was listening to you, Kara, ano she? Eh? It may be the physical form of tatabaho ka, kita ka ng pera, magbabayad ka. Mm-hmm. Pero ang gusto kong tuh- uh, ang gusto kong tuhugin dito is yung mga the things that you learn along the way. Para sa iyo, ano yung isa sa mga una mong natutunan na parang wow. Sabi mo nga, kailangan ko kailangan kong pambayad. Kailangan ko ma-meet yung deadline para mabayaran ko to. Ano yung mga isa sa mga virtues na natutunan mo along the way? Ay, ang lalim ng virtue. <laughs> um, can I give two? Sure, of two course. Major things. The first one is something that I also mentioned in my podcast is that um, I learned to stop forcing people to love me um, whether it be in relationships or sa trabaho parang natutunan ko to take control of myself and um, work on myself enough para hindi ko pinipilit yung sarili ko sa mga iba't ibang bagay dun ko naramdaman yun yung um, isa sa mga processes na nadaanan ko I guess with adulting is to para kasi akong naging chameleon growing up I think that's what the 20s are for naman figuring out kung saan ka magpifit 
di ba? And once right. you've actually realized who you truly are and what you want to do and what your whys are, you'll figure out, you'll start slowly figuring out kung ano mga how mo, how to go through life, how to adult. Um, so first is to stop forcing people around me and everything around me to love me and and loving myself, working on loving myself and working on myself is the first major adulting experience. Parang yun sa mga naging major um, ups nung journey ko. Pangalawa um, is uh, to be kinder. To be kinder, to learn to deal with um, myself and everything else around me and everybody else around me kindly. Parang um, isipin mo na not everything in the world, uh, hindi lahat na nang, nangyayari around you or nangyayari sa'yo is about you. The world doesn't revolve around you. Everybody's going through their own issues. Everybody's going through their own problems. Everybody's adulting and trying to adult and trying to survive. Lalo na ngayon sa panahon ngayon. So yung step back and deal with things yourself and your problems and life in general um, more kindly. So yun yung dalawang bagay. Totoo yun. Kailangan maging mabait. Kasi syempre sa, well, uh, para po sa mga nakikinig nito, parehas po kami ng industriya ni Kara na nasa events nasa media industry na walang kasiguraduhan. You are good as your last project or your last job. Hindi tayo yung Ooh! tipong 9 to 5 na regular kang sumutuhan. May benefits. <laughs> benefits. Diba? So, ano eh, kapang in this in this line of work, you are more on your toes eh. Parang never kang makakampante. Makakampante ka for a bit. You land a job. You land a project. That's good. But until when is it gonna last? So, you can't ever you stop to... progressing in this job, eh. That's true. That's true, di ba? And siguro, para ang narealize ko rin doon, Kara, is, um, yun nga, you are on your toes and you have to consistently sustain it. Para merong that level of like, kailangan, I have to be here and I have to be here and sustain it. But, that siguro what makes it more challenging to adults is because, Diba? Kailangan, kailangan natin ito gawin at kailangan din natin punan yung mga kailangan natin para mabuhay. Pero Kara, ang, ang, ang tanong ko pala yung sa nauna mong sinabi is uh, just stop forcing yourself and just loving yourself. I'm curious, in what concrete sense uh, did you did that make you, kumbaga, yun, ano yung nagparealize dun sa'yo? Turning 30, again, not to say that in your 30s ka lang magsisimulang mag-adult truly, no? You can start adulting and realize uh, that you're adulting in your 20s. Um, but for me, it was it was turning 30 na naging turning point nun for me. Um, when I let go of a job that I thought I was gonna be in uh, or doing for, for a long time. And um, talagang pinili ko muna, kasi yung 30 lalo na Let's be real, di ba? Lalo na sa babae at sa career na to, sa line of work na to, parang it's always been like, oh, you have to lie about your age. Parang yung, pag 30 ka na, mom rolls ka na. Or pag 30 ka na, meron mga bagay, meron ka na mga bagay na hindi magagawa. Parang nagiging balakid yung age um, for us. And that was, what, um, I guess, what pushed me there to start my podcast is to deal with it. Parang before, I've always felt like I needed to force myself to get the job parang isiksik yung sarili ko I've, na, umabot na ako sa point na pag tinatanong ako ilang taong ka na nakakalimutan ko na ako so I've had to lie about it so many times I ended at 27 you know what I mean and I'm just like how old are you okay and then turning 30 for me was like you know what I'm 30 so what I'm smarter than I was before I'm wiser I you know and I'm more comfortable in my own skin and so that's when I realized, and then I started doing the podcast, and literally the, the title of my first episode is, How Do We Do This? Diba? I was so insecure. I had so many insecurities. My, I was so insecure about my age. I was insecure about leaving a job that I loved uh, to pursue what? I didn't even know what then. Um, but it was when I started enjoying myself, enjoying um, learning more about myself and sharing more about myself and being more genuine and stop and, and stop forcing myself into things na parang feeling ko, ito yung maganda, feeling ko, ito yung magugustuhan ng mas nakararami. Feeling ko, mas kikita ako ng pera dito. It was more like, this is who I've embraced myself to be and I'll move on from there. Sa mga nakikinig nito, we're like, 10, 15 minutes into the program, if you were like to 
hindi pa tatapos ah. If you were like to <laughs> talk to them at kung ano yung mga napag-usapan natin at tingin mong napapanad sila ngayon, ano muna siguro yung gusto mong sabihin sa mga nanonood niya? Who are going through this also? Yeah. Ano? Yung mga nakakarili parang o oh, nga, tama yung sinabi ni, ni Ma'am Cara. <laughs> ano ang gusto kong sabihin sa kanila? Um, wow. Okay guys, Ah, uh, salamat una sa lahat sa pakikinig for taking the time and for being here in this space and I think the reason why you're here also and you chance upon itong Migs Must is gusto mo ring matuto. May mga bagay ka rin. I'm sure nakita mo yung title, nakita mo si Migs or kung nakikinig ka ng episode podcast ko at nakita mo ko, meron kang mga gustong matutunan about this and this is just us sharing our experiences. Me and Migs and me being in Migs's platform. Um, we are in our 30s and we are only sharing our hindi kami uh, professionals. Diba? Pero ito yung mga bagay na natutunan namin na marami din kaming napagdaanan uh, bago namin uh, na-realize itong mga bagay na to. Hopefully, kung nakikinig ka ngayon, eh, makatulong kaming ma-shorten diba, yung journey ninyo. Mas mahaba yung amin. Sana meron kayong mga makuha ngayon na ma-embrace ninyo at uh, mas maaga yung mga experience para mas maaga nyo rin matutunan. And um, yun. Yun lang. So hopefully, uh, ina- ma-i-apply nyo rin yung mga nat- natututunan ninyo and also know that it some most of the time it takes a while and you have to be able to experience it and be willing to experience it before you get there. You know, for the ones who are watching this, maybe we're around halfway in through this uh, into this episode. And yun nga naman ang sabi ko, guys, no? hindi naman kami expert, eh. hindi naman kami professional. Eh. Kami eh, parang kayo na natututo mm-hmm. lang din the way you may not be 30 you may be around after college mid 20s but going through some things that you may also be familiar with as pinapag-usapan namin to ni Kara sabi nga ni Kara hindi naman kailangan maging 30 para mag-adult ka etc we have friends who, who got married 26 27 yeah. right we have friends who are just getting married we have older friends who are just getting married now so wala rin yan sa age eh. kumbaga yung 30 that was just like that's just like a bar parang line lang yan sa number line natatunan mm-hmm. niyo ba yung sa math di ba may number line tayo hala so, may math na that's the math na teka lang hindi tayo magbabat <laughs> pero di ba plus minus lang yan eh but you know in all of the things in life lahat tayo may pinagkaan especially through this uh, pandemic and lahat tayo talaga were forced to adult in some sense na fast track yung ating ano eh na fast track yung ating uh, responsibility na fast track yung ating kailangan gawin and uh, kaya rin ako kaya ko rin gusto, in-invite si Kara kasi gusto ko rin matuto sa kanya na ako lang may pinagdadaanan yun na para ako rin aminin ko may mga insecurity din tayo meron din tayong mga bagay na hmm, ba't siya nagagawa na yun ako kaya ko rin ba yun gawin mm-hmm. and pupunta na ako doon Kara di ba na when we talk about our own self-worth uh, during as we go through the course of our career in life. You mentioned it a while ago. Yung nga, just loving yourself and being more ki- and being kinder. But mm-hmm. when you sum it all up, now, as, as, as of now, when you talk about self-worth, gano yun kahalaga para sa'yo? Whew! 110% mahalaga. <laughs> it, it, especially in this line of work also. But as a human in general, uh, sana ma-realize natin ang mas maaga yung self-worth natin. Kasi yun yung parang nagiging driving force mo rin eh. Parang uh, when you shed everything and unpack everything you've ever been through, it's your self-worth that leads you to where you are. The decisions that you make, the kind of relationships um, that you have, the kind of people you surround yourself with. Um, it all boils down to how you see yourself. If you are worthy of this job, if you are worthy of this love, if you are worthy of this life. So self-worth um, is, is a great deal uh, in how you navigate through life. Now that we are in our 30s, do you think that you are a different person now? Comparing when you were around 5 to 10 years ago? Oh yeah! <laughs> Like, who is she? <laughs> Alam mo yung challenge na yun sa Facebook? Yung you post your first um, profile picture and then you, diba, put it beside your current profile picture? It literally, I was looking at it and I was like, who is she? And I was also telling my husband, Pao, you know, if you met me five years ago, number one, I wouldn't have been attracted to you. <laughs> also, you <laughs> wouldn't have been attracted to me. I was so different and I have changed a great deal. Um, I did not have 
the sense of self-worth that I have now. Um, I didn't love myself enough, which is why I forced myself, forced others to love me, forced the, the men in the relationships to love me more, the work that I was in to love me more, because I didn't love myself enough, and I just kept finding places. Kung san ba ako mamahalin? Ano ba talaga? San ba ako magaling? Di ba? Uh, um, where will I? Who will uh, fill this? Di ba? Itong empty pit na ito of self worth and. You know, I kept filling it in with relationships, with more work, with, you know, these friends and vices and whatnot. And that was because I didn't know who I was um, just yet. Did I answer your question? Yes, 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 yes. My, my, my train of thought. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, my follow-up is, what about like some principles or like parang some beliefs uh, na na-realize mo na, ah, ito pala ibig sabihin nun. The more na nandito na tayo sa stage na to, uh, mas narealize ko na ito pala yun. Are there mm-hmm. any? A lot actually, but the major one is the limiting belief um, that I've only started to learn to shed off fairly recently. Was that kung ano yung inaral mo or kung saan ka magaling, doon ka lang. Parang, di ba? Kung kunwari, I took up theater arts and creative writing and so this is the only thing I'm good at. This is the only thing I need to keep going for and need to keep doing is anything and everything that has to do with the arts and, and and writing because that's the only thing that I'm good at. Yun lang inaral ko. Hindi. Ang dami, dami, dami mo actually pwedeng gawin pala. Why are you, why uh, was I limiting myself to just that? Parang, and uh, you know, growing up, I would catch myself parang meron akong friend na magaling, uh, na doktor na ang galing palang kumanta. Tapos, di ba, yung ang, ang ununuuta ko, wow, doktor ka, ang galing mo kumanta. Hindi ko siya ma one plus one in my head. Parang, bakit? May tao rin naman siya. <laughs> hindi porket nag-doktor lang siya, hindi siya magaling, you know. Um, so, that's one major thing for me is that I don't need to limit myself to just this. I can actually learn more and do more and keep learning more as I get older um, because it doesn't just end there. We're so capable maganda of doing yung, so much. Maganda yung sinabi mo dahil very, very timely. Tayo, sanay tayo. O guys, ha, sa mga nanonood nito, kung 30 man kayo, sa 30 plus kayo, o medyo under 30 ng konti, if you're starting out in life, and you finish a course, theater arts ka, Kara. Nagkapos ka ng theater arts. Yeah. Ako nang tapos ko, business course, business management, pero nasa media ako. Marami rin sigurong, <laughs> marami rin sigurong mga tao na nagtapos ng ganitong klase ng kurso, tapos iba yung ginagawa sa buhay. And sometimes, magkakaroon talaga tayo ng self-doubt. Parang, ha, tama ba itong ginagawa ko? Ito yung tinapos ko, pero ito yung ginagawa ko. Mm-hmm. And you touched on it a bit. Pero, ano yung nakikita mo ngayon siguro more na should we be worried? Should we be uh, you know, insecure? Or how do we fight the thoughts that are going to our head when it comes to that kind of, hindi siya disconnect, pero pagkakaiba siguro, or that difference. Ah, uh, gamitan natin yung experience natin ngayon, no, pandemya. Parang pinantay niya tayong lahat eh. 'Di ba? Nawala lang levels. Kahit si George Clooney na experience niya to, 'di ba? Even Elon Musk is going through the pandemic. We're all going through uh, the same thing right now. So, the bottom line I guess to be able to um, learn uh, deal with that is lahat tayo pare-pareho tayo ng pinagdadaanan. Pare-pareho lang tayong tao. Magkakaiba lang ng levels. Magkakaiba lang tayo ng backgrounds. Actually, yung pinagkaiba lang natin sa mga tao mas mayaman, mas matalino, mas magaling sa atin is luck. And this is something I learned from my mother and I will always bring with me. Diba? Ang pinagkaiba mo lang sa tao na natutulog sa kalsada is luck. You're not any better than them. You were just born in a different family and you were luckier. Um, and that's so pare-pareho lang tayong lahat uh, we are all human and hence we need to be uh, to see it that way did I answer your question? I yeah, yeah. Uh, magpa-follow up ako dun anong yes. message mo sa mga taong feeling that are kind of lost in some sense I will use that term ako I mean lahat tayo siguro nanonood ito had some sense of feeling na na-lost ako I mean hindi ko nagkaroon din ako ng na-lost din ako so many times in my life Para sa'yo, Kara. You will find your way. Yuck, ang cliche. <laughs> but, okay. uh, <laughs> totoo eh, you will. Um, do not lose hope that you will find your way. And again, it, you're not alone. 
it's important to know that you are not alone and even the people you idolize the people you see who are raking it in and who are so happy on social media are going through the same things you are going through we are all human and that is real uh so go through it um be vulnerable enough to accept yourself uh and accept that you are going through these hardships na nalulost ka kasi hindi mo na ma- actually hindi mo ma- hindi mo mahanap yung tamang daan you will not be able to find your way until you are lost right tama ba diba kailangan tama. yun eh I diba? agree I agree I agree go ahead mawawala ka muna mawawala ka muna ng malala hindi ba ang sarap nun yung pag naliligaw ka it Sorry, ang uh, first that came to mind was naligaw ako, nag-travel ako to Hong Kong a few years ago again, privileged enough to have been, been able to do that. But I was, and I was lost. Parang wala akong load or na, wala ano yung same ko, ganyan. Tapos, hala, lost ako, takot, takot ako. Ano mangyayari sa akin, ganyan. But, you know, finding my way, I met new people, nakahanap ako ng mga ibang paraan kung para makaikot ulit the following day doon sa lugar na yon. And because of that, alam mo yon, it, it made me stronger and it, it uh, I learned a lot from it. I met new people along the way and that's just maybe the shallowest way I could have explained um, what I meant by that. But that was the first thing that came to mind for me is kailangan mo munang mawala bago mo talaga mahanap. Kasi kung wala kang natutunan, para saan pa kaya nga exciting ang buhay eh. Diba? You keep getting lost and you keep finding better ways. That's true. And uh, if I may add to that, Uh, what I always tell people, when they also, you know, invite and get, actually, para ask me the same, is I will, I will, I will add to that and agree to that, because wala namang perfect tong dani, and I believe that regret shouldn't be part of the vocabulary, because mm-hmm. ano ba mga causes ng regret, di ba? Mistakes, di ba? Yung mga sana you wish that you didn't do. But or like getting lost. But those things have to happen for you to be able to find your way again. And okay. while getting lost, yung getting in the process in the process of getting lost, you realize so many things along the way. Meron ka palang hindi makikita. Pare na wala ka sa Hong Kong. Mm. Dapat pupunta ka dito pero nakita mo tong magandang monument. Uy, ito pala yun kung di ako na wala, hindi ko nakita yan. Amazing. O kung di ako na wala, hindi ko may experience yung ganitong bus or yung ganitong train. So, marami tayong nare-realize along the way, even though we're lost. And that's also the same thing in life. I can also share that I've... Ako, siguro, this, this time of pandemic, na-lost din ako. Ano bang gagawin ko? Di ba? Pero, i-add ko lang din na siguro at my 30s, and especially during this time, Kara, I guess you will agree also that it's more on we put our faith. We have put our faith more uh, in the Lord. And mm-hmm. alam mo yun, the more that you will trust and alam mo yun kasi doon ko basta ako kung ano man yung pinagdadaanan ko rin yun sabi ko papagsuggest ko na lang hindi naman ito mangyayari kung hindi na ito ibibigay so kung ano ibigay niya I will, I will be totally okay and fine and yeah sorry ang dami ko ang dami ko na rin sinabi ang dami ko rin mag-share dito pero oh, I love it I will yeah. just cut it I will just cut it at that but You know, um, thank you for that. I've also realized so many things along the way, Kara, as you mentioned that. And siguro as a parting shot na lang, Kara, sa lahat ng mga natutunan mo in life, ano yung mga values? Kanina sabi ko virtue eh. Ano yung mga values that you live for now? What what do you do? Like, what do you practice every day? Like, what are you doing? Discipline, perseverance, etc. Pero ikaw na bahala doon, Kara. Um, well, since we're basing it also on the podcast, and because I, this is something I truly, truly live by and have learned to and keep my mindfully going back to is to practice kindness and gratitude for me. Kindness, compassion, and gratitude um, always come from a space of kindness, being kind to yourself. There's always a kinder way to do things. There's always a kinder, more effective way uh, to deal with the people around you and to deal with life in general. And gratitude also something I truly live by kasi lalo na ngayon sa panahon ng pandemya ang daming dahilan para maging nega ang daming dahilan para maging malungkot ang dami nang nawala masyado ng maraming nawalan um, so if we need to practice ki- and find, to find ourselves always in a space of gratitude because there's always something to be grateful for always new lessons to learn um, even when you're lost there will always be progress in, in, in that experience and 
that is all thank you <laughs> thank you kara kara i'll give you the chance na, to shout out plug your podcast go ahead Thank you. Maraming maraming salamat. Um, Migs, it was such an honor and a privilege to be here on your platform here on Migs Must. Please um, follow ma- and listen to my podcast. It's called After 30 with Kara Erigel. You can find it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all ma- major podcast platforms. Please follow me on my social medias as well. That's at Kara Erigel everywhere. And the podcast is at After 30 with Kara Erigel. I post new episodes every Thursday. Thank you. Maraming maraming salamat, Migs. Thank you, Kara. So, guys, this has been Must Adult dito po sa Mix Musts. Okay, so please do follow Kara uh, for more life lessons. Of course, that's after 30 on uh, wherever you get your podcast. And sana na-enjoy niyo yung usapan namin dito ni Kara. And, uh, yun nga po, lagi kong sinasabi na hindi kami experts, hindi kami professionals. We're just sharing our life experiences. And our goal, really, is to be able to talk to you, to be able to relate to you. Kung meron man kayong gustong comments or anything, comment lang yan sa comment section. Kung meron kayong suggestions, pag-uusapan namin yan. At maraming maraming salamat for joining us here on Mix Must. So once again, this has been Kara and Migs right here on Mix Must. See you guys next episode. Bye! Bye!